ladies and gentlemen, a real welcome. We're very excited to be here celebrating a swinging Christmas live from Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club. That's opening ceremony is the traditional ceremony used in the Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols. And our fantastic drummer is no stranger to the world of carols because he was the head chorister at Waltham Abbey. So he's very much used to cassettes, surpluses and roughs. Here he is on the drums. How about for Christopher Higginbottom? Now, uh, this is a fun evening. We're going to hopefully play some of your Christmas favourites. Playing the bass for those Christmas favourites, hopefully. Well, otherwise you'd be playing different tunes. Um, would be a bit weird. But anyway, please welcome on the bass the incredible Sam Burgess. So a few years ago, uh, Harry Connick, one of my favourite pianists from New Orleans and singers, um, did an album of uh, great Christmas songs. And I think his version of uh, this particular one is one that I quite like. So we're going to play Frosty, the New Orleans Snowman.
Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody who's watching the stream live from Ronnie Scott's in this very, very sort of strange, empty jazz club. But we've all got used to that. The world of arts, musicians, anybody really that does anything in the world of entertainment from behind the scenes, they've all had to suffer a little bit. So hopefully we're going to brighten up and remind ourselves that Christmas is still upon us and the meaning of it and all that sort of stuff. And once again, you really heard the fantastic New Orleans style drumming of our ex Waltham Abbey head chorister on drums. He's very proud. Well, I was a chorister as well. We both love this sort of music of Christmas. And of course, um, if you are feeling extra generous, I think you can donate. There's lots of magic buttons you can press on your computer screens, which will tell you how to do that. And the donation does go to us as well. Um, I hope so, anyway, because it is Christmas time. And uh, so we go. So we're now going to take, what I'm going to do in this concert, actually, is we're going to play Christmas music, but slightly in different styles. So a little later on, we're going to do something in the Oscar Peterson style, maybe in the Bill Evans style. And if you've got any requests that you think we might be able to magically produce, whether it's a classical style or a jazz style or a particular jazz musician, then at the end, we're going to try and do this jazz experiment when we'll... Sarah, who is organising this whole thing, will write down these requests and I will hopefully play them. Or Sam will play them if I don't know them. This is one I do know and it's a really beautiful piece of music, first written in 1868. Very important. I don't think anybody was at the premiere of this. Um, and uh, it's, well, it is actually O Little Town of Bethlehem, but I've done it in a sort of what we call O Little Township of Bethlehem.
Thank you very much. How about it for Sam Burgess on the bass? Beautiful play in there and a lovely last chord. Um, for those people in observant will notice that Sam wears the same tie every day um, of his uh, working life here at Ronnie Scott's. Um, he just hasn't had much work on. The last time he was here was this time last year. No, that's not true at all. Um, and, uh, well, I hope you are sending your requests in because I'm looking forward to the challenge of uh, trying to um, entertain you at this time with Christmas music. Um, I hope you like that a version of O Little Township of Bethlehem. Um, one of our, I'm speaking collectively, I hope that's okay, chaps. Um, one of our heroes in the world of jazz tree, and I think most, uh, there's a lot of smoke, by the way, going on. And that's not because we're smoking in here, because we're allowed to, because there's nobody here. But it's an actual fact, the new haze machine, that's what you call it, the haze machine, which is very exciting, except that there's an allowance on haze. It has to be used up before the end of the year, so they've obviously decided to give us a generous amount of haze. Either that or something's on fire. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, and one of the greatest jazz trios was Oscar Peterson. And nearly all jazz pianists, well, not all of them, but a lot of the sort of the ones in the 1950s and 60s did Christmas albums. Um, there's definitely an Oscar Peterson Christmas album. And uh, we were talking to Sam um, and about his favourite <laughs> his favourite um, um, piece of Christmas music, and he said, "Ding dong." And I said, "No, that's a, that's a Leslie Phillips's tune." Leslie Phillips is still alive, age 96. So we'd like to dedicate this to Leslie Phillips, but we also like to dedicate it to um, the Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, the Christmas film um, that's um, shown many times. As we play our sort of version of Oscar Peterson's version of Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead, or Leslie Phillips is Alive, age 96, whichever way you want to look at it. Could be fun.
thank you. As you can see, a lot of uh, <laughs> practice went into that arrangement. It's, um, uh, anyway, hopefully, we, Sam and I and uh, Chris had a little walk around the streets of Soho to see the buzz in Metropolis that is Soho. In fact, that it is London. Um, but we couldn't see anything, because there is nothing. Everything's closed. <laughs> That was Silent Night, inspired by Duke Ellington, even though there were lots of other little things in it, lots of flourishes. Um, but it's very silent. There's an eerie atmosphere, um, which is nice because there's time for reflection, and Christmas is definitely a time for reflection. Um, the next piece, and some of the things that we like to do is, I say, do these musical portraits. We did one of Dudley Moore, which you can probably still see on Catch Up. And in the past, I've done um, one celebrating the legacies of people like Oscar Peterson and Errol Garner. Oh, Sarah's giving me this piece of paper. Hang on a sec. Oh, yes. Oh, well, I'll look at that during the bass solo. There's a lot of notes, a lot of, uh, lots of uh, things to do with that. Um, and, and so I thought what would be quite fun is to imagine how Errol Garner would play a Christmas carol or a Christmas piece of music. Um, now, Errol Garner never told the band what he was going to play. He just sort of went into it, and they would pick it up. And so I actually, we didn't, when he did the rehearsal this afternoon, I didn't tell the guys what we were going to play. And so I'm just going to test them out, see if they can pick up on this. But I'm telling, I know it's going to be in the style of Aragona, at least at the beginning.
of course, um, and it's always nice um, to play Errol Garner uh, music. Now, I'm just looking at these requests. Um, well, er, he didn't write Errol. It's very nice because it's a very happy style of playing the piano. So, this is interesting. You, there's a whole load of Christmas tunes, but they haven't said what style they want in. Um, but we can definitely do something with this in the final number. We've got, we've done Ask Anything, the style of McCoy Tyner. Um, you know what would work well in the style of McCoy Tyner? Sam, you're an expert in McCoy, aren't you? Tyner. He's not here, unfortunately. He died this year, unfortunately, uh, McCoy Tyner. He's one of the few jazz musicians to have made it onto the Jules Holland television show. The ghost of McCoy is just pushing my microphone towards me. He probably wants to knock my teeth out. Um, and the microphone is now dropping. Um, that's possibly something to do with the smoke that's been coming out of the piano. Um, so we're going to play a piece now, which I'm, I must admit, I will share this with you, world, that... I'm a bit nervous about, um, because it's quite hard, harmonically hard. Um, but we will play it, I've just got to find the semblance of music. Because this wonderful piece of Christmas music... Oh, by the way, um, um, Freddie, thank you very much for your request. Sorry, I've just uh, ignored this, but the Holly and the Ivy in the style of Oscar. McCoy Tyner, happy birthday, happy birthday, Eddie Crow. Eddie Crow, is it grow or go, gow? Whatever it is, it's something O. Oh. And it's not I owe you, but you could owe us by donating <laughs> donated to the cause. Um, but happy birthday, Eddie. Um, Freddie Gavita, who is the trumpet player with the Ronnie Scott's club quintet, has requested Santa Baby as a mambo. We could do that, couldn't we? Bit of a mambo? Yeah. Oh, they don't. Freddie, sorry, mate. The boys don't want to do it. We'll come back to that um, in a minute. But we will play, because there's a wonderful piece of music called The Twelve Days of Christmas, and uh, we like to challenge ourselves to play it in all the keys. In other words, every day, every gift resembles another key. After a while, it will get on your nerves, but we're going to try and get through all 12 of them nice and quickly.
12 keys of Christmas. Uh, <laughs> and certainly quite fun doing that. Now, as Chris and I... Sam, were you a chorister as well? Um, Chris was a, a, a better chorister than me because he was a head chorister. Um, and I wasn't a head chorister. I was an assistant head chorister. Um, <laughs> if you can be such a thing. I'm not allowed to do things like that these days. But um, I did enjoy some of the music, especially the battle of the bleak wid mid midwinter. In other words, there are two versions in the bleak midwinter, one by Gustav Holst, who wrote The Planets, and this one, which we're going to play by a gentleman called Harold Dark, and they're both equally beautiful. Sometimes, when you start off playing one, you end up accidentally playing the other. But in the bleak midwinter, um, which is also a tongue twister, is one of my favourite <laughs> um, pieces of Christmas music. And one of the pianists that we also like to celebrate is Bill Evans. So I'd like to call this one In the Bill Evans Mode Midwinter.
Sam Burgess on the bass. Oh, I'm being handed another piece of paper. There's so much excitement about this now. What's going on here? Little Drummer Boy Jazz Funk. Now I've been they're very oh that's a nice one. This is Come All Ye Faithful in the style of George Sheeran. We could do that. doing these without the audience and the, and the stifled laughter that you often get, especially the next request, because I can't tell whether this will work. And most people in this country are too young to, young to remember this amazing pianist and comedian. And I don't know why some... I think maybe I've been playing everything in the style of Les Dawson tonight. But um, someone's asked for, we wish you a Merry Christmas in the style of Les Dawson, obviously a big jazz fan. Again, I promised the boys I wouldn't do too many... <laughs> silly things, but we might just have to do this because it's, you know, it cheers everybody up. People love a bit of Les. For those people that just tuned in at that point, I wasn't playing some obscure piece of modern jazz or a, a tribute to some of the avant-garde free jazz movement. Um, it was actually a tribute to a great um, pianist called Les Dawson. Oh, Holy Night Snowboy. We are able to do that because we haven't got the percussion. God rest ye, merry gentlemen, the style of Jerry Mulligan, again, without the baritone saxophone. Um, Sam didn't bring it to today. Christmas without you, a la Keith Jarrett. I had a letter from Keith the other day banning me from doing his impersonation, an impersonation of him, so I can't do that. Silent Night we've done. Step Into Christmas, Mingus Bells. There's some great tunes here. Well, maybe I'll have to do it live next year in front of an entire audience. We've done the Happy Birthday. We've done In the Bleak Midwinter. Anything in Ratmaninoff style? Well, would you like some Ratmaninoff? Play Ratmaninoff. Doesn't say what style. So maybe we, I'll tell you what we could do. We could take Santa Baby by Eartha Kitt in the style of Ratmaninoff. Sam. Sam, do you mind if I do that? Oh, well, anyway. So th the band were very worried that I would go to this sort of moment <laughs> of complete campness. But we might as well do this, you know. How often do you get to play Ratmaninoff in Ronnie Scott's? Enough of that. Oh, thank you. You see, even the audience were so shocked they forgot to clap. Um, now, 
Oh, yes, it's really needed time to finish. But thank you very much um, for watching this stream. I would like to thank, on the bass, the incredible Sam Burgess. I hear you clapping. So Sam Burgess on the bass with his lovely tie. And Chris Higginbottom on the drums. And thank them very much from me for all their hard work this year. I'd like to thank all the Ronnie Scott's house bands, the big band, the soul family, the jazz orchestra, and all the performers that have played here this year, especially in the lockdown and done all the streams. I would like to thank Sarah Weller, Christian Doho, Jacob, who is our artist here, and Gareth, um, Fred Nash, and all his uh, friends who aren't here, sadly. But um, we'd like to thank Fred for, and uh, Sally Green and Michael Watt and everybody who's uh, kept this place going, all the staff here. So thank you very much, and thanks for watching the streams and hopefully donating a little money, because that will help. Um, it will certainly help, because the piano needs tuning. Um, I've managed to whack it out of tune. We're going to finish off with an absolutely beautiful piece. We recorded this the other day, actually, and I put it on as a little teaser for tonight's concert. This is uh, the wonderful Shepherd's Pipe Carol to finish off with.